Hi everybody, this is Al and I wanted to do a follow-up video on the aquaponic system week four. Uh, I purposely waited, uh, skipped a week so the changes would be more apparent. Uh, you can see how the plants are doing and we've made some changes since uh, since we did our last update. The uh, most significant change was that we weren't getting enough ammonia into the system to really you know, get the plants going and cycle. So what we did is we uh, got all the fish out and uh, we added one quart of maxi crop, which is a, uh, it's a brand name, uh, it is um, seaweed extract. And we added one quart of maxi crop, actually a quarter and a half of maxi crop, to that entire tote of water. <clears throat> and then we added, oh, about two cups of liquid iron uh, into it. So the plants would have the, uh, the iron that they need because uh, the uh, seaweed extract really doesn't have much iron in it. And uh, boy did they show up. It was like night and day. Uh, the, uh, the levels on ammonia uh, are through the roof. They're higher than eight right now. Uh, the levels of nitrite are 20 parts per million. Nitrate I think is uh, it's about five or something like that. So uh, it, is, it is high and the pH is buffering itself down. It used to be, uh, when I first started it, um, just a few days ago when we did the actual conversion, uh, the uh, pH was 8.8, .8, it's now 8, so it is coming down uh, slowly. And uh, the, um, uh, the culture, the bacterial cu culture in the beds are starting to take root. Uh, you can see by the health of the plants how well they are doing. I'll give you an example. Uh, if we look at the basil over here, the basil is flowering uh, quite well and the tomato plants are also flowering. They all have uh, blooms in them. You can see it back there, uh, how well they're doing. Uh, they all have flowers going in. You can see the uh, Jersey Wakefield uh, is probably uh, three times, almost three times the size it was. The onions, the red onions are doing really, really good. The celery that we started from seed, uh, it's going very well. The lettuce is really shooting up. Uh, so is the cabbage back there. The cabbage is doing outstanding. And look at that. Look how beautiful that broccoli looks. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just too cough. Uh, the white onions are doing very well. And you can see how much bigger those uh, red cabbages are and then you can see the celery that we planted from seed um, right here and back there see how how much bigger they are uh, I got the uh, heater going uh, because the last few nights it's been going down to the low 40s so we have um, you know the heating the water to keep the the bacterial culture from um, you know the bacterial culture uh, to take place and not slow down uh, and if I look at uh, what I did earlier we do have uh, 20 parts per million uh, of nitrate the uh, nitrite is over five parts per million it's a little higher than that uh, the ammonia is still at eight and the pH has come down to uh, 8 oh so things are going quite well uh, I expect it in a few weeks probably two more weeks it's sinking the system should be fully cycled and then we can reintroduce the fish back into it but I mean this thing really works well I am extremely happy with it I have to I don't have to worry about weeding it uh, I think I found one weed uh, going uh, growing in that tray over there I just simply grabbed it and pulled it out it just came right off there's no bending over uh, it's very little work uh, the system pretty much takes care of itself. It's hand soft, completely hand soft almost. You just got to come over here, you know, once or twice a day, take a look at it, make sure things are okay. And, uh, you know, uh, it just it just works. The only problem I've had so far is my uh, a float switch on that pump down there got cut with the cables and it got stuck and it wouldn't, it wouldn't turn on. So I was dumping water out. And that was just lesson learned to turn the pump around and make sure that the the power cable and the hose going in are on opposite ends from where the switch float uh, is. And you know, once you do that, uh, you're you're good to go. So uh, lessons learned: the um, 
the, the bell siphons are working very, very, very well. But I think if I were to scale these to commercial size, I would not necessarily go with bell siphons. I think what I'm going to go with is, uh, is, is with a timer. I'll put a, uh, uh, a pump inside here, inside this tank here, and have a timer that will control that pump. So it will come on uh, for 15 minutes, and then 45 minutes would be off. And what that's going to do is I would simply take the pump output and have it go uh, on the bottom where, where the trays are drained from. And you'll see that right here where they're draining from. And I'll tie those together and simply have the pumping here pump water into the trays from the bottom where the bell siphons are. I'll take that off and have it flood. And then this would be the overflows here. And that would go onto the barrel, onto the sump down there, and then let the pump from the sump then push it back in here. And I think that's a much more controlled method of actually working things. Uh, so, you know, it's something that I've learned uh, throughout doing this. The, I'm not going to be wrong, the belt siphons are totally reliable. I've not had a single problem with them. But the only thing that I don't like about it is very, very hard to control when those bell siphons actually uh, you know the timing for each bell siphon uh, because you gotta mess with the valve and you know get get them to come up and go down uh, you know in the interval that you're looking for uh, if you were to scale that out into a large system it would be impractical so I think the timer method uh, it's definitely the way to go uh, when it comes to that so I think what I'll do is I'll have it I'll have a timer so the water fills the trays floods them for 15 minutes and as soon as the trays are full they'll be draining out through here back into the sump and then from the sump back into the tank right and that's how that would work uh, I think that's definitely the way to go so anyways uh, I hope you like the update hope you like what you see uh, you know for very little money of I think I paid fifteen dollars for each one of those plastic tanks cut it in half you got two growing trays so there's a total of three barrels in here plus this tote you get you a pump a few hoses you know a car heater if, if you need it uh, a $20 bottle of uh, seaweed extract and uh, you know start throwing some seeds in there and you're good to go you're, you're, you're growing food uh, and you can continue adding to the system uh, we're going to add another tray here, I know I keep talking about it, but I've just been so busy with some of my kids' school stuff that it's finally over this week and they got a competition. And once that's over, then I'll be able to uh, uh, make a video of how to make a tray, how to make the bell siphon, and uh, get that all going properly. I'm going to clean the lens through a week, so uh, real quickly, so forgive me for that. There we go. Uh, so anyways, that's going to be uh, the next video that I'll do on that. So I hope you'll like it and uh, you know comment if you have any questions otherwise God bless everybody take care and you know get back in the Bible get close with the Lord get right with the Lord trusting him asking for anything that uh, that you need after confessing your sins once you become a child of God Jesus will listen to you. He always listens to you, but he may not do what you want until you repent from from your sins, whether you're a Christian that, you know, has uh, kind of, you know, slid back a little bit or, or you're new to the faith. Uh, the beautiful thing about Christ is that it doesn't matter what we did. If we really are, you know, sorry for it and, and uh, we make a commitment not to sin anymore, even though we know we'll fail, uh, he'll he'll forgive you you know it's all about uh, how the heart uh, is and uh, he knows your heart so uh, he will bless you with uh, many things that that, uh, that you need not necessarily what you want but what you need and uh, you know to me it's a blessing for me to have found this and and, and get some food growing and hopefully lower my dependence on, on work later on hopefully get a business going uh, you know if it's within the, the Lord's wish to help me do that and so be it so anyways everybody thanks a bunch for for watching God bless and take care